Tips for successful online learning. Communicating online. Effective communication is an essential part of college success. Asking questions, sharing ideas, and reflecting on your learning is especially important in college courses. Your instructors expect you to ask questions if you don't understand something and also expect you to contribute to class discussions. Effective communication helps you connect, learn, research, and share ideas. When you communicate with others, learning becomes collaborative, experimental, and authentic. Communication at its best is cooperative and beneficial, creating an environment where each student has a voice and all students participate as active members of a learning community. The online environment has a unique set of benefits and challenges, and it is critical that you learn to communicate effectively in online classes. Benefits. In the online environment, each student has an equal voice. Students who are usually shy and don't speak out in a regular classroom have an opportunity to voice their ideas and be heard. Students who tend to speak out more often have an opportunity to listen to others. Everyone has the opportunity to reflect on their own and others' contributions to the discussion, and students can return to the discussion at any time to review something they found valuable. Most importantly, in classes where students don't physically see each other, a strong sense of community can develop through online communication. Communication in an online learning community. In your online or virtual class, you will encounter at least two different types of communication. Communication with your instructor. As a student at CSU Beam, you are expected to participate in your own learning. This means that it is your job to understand course elements, materials, and assignments. If you don't understand something, your instructor will expect you to ask questions. Asking questions, seeking help, and getting the resources you need are important to your success. The sooner you communicate with your instructor, the better. Your online instructors will also likely provide an ask and answer discussion forum that allows you to ask questions in your online class. Usually, there are other students with the same questions, so everyone benefits. Communication with fellow students. A great way to learn is to share ideas with your classmates and thoughtfully consider differing perspectives and viewpoints to delve deeper into your subject matter. Online course discussions serve to enhance your understanding of course material. Successful communication allows for cooperative group environments where each student's voice is heard and all perspectives are welcome. Good communication is essential for developing an online learning community. Now let's move on to discussion board guidelines. Many online courses utilize discussion forums in Canvas and social media. This allows students to share ideas and reflect on their learning. Many instructors use social media in their courses to build community and supplement learning. Increasingly, employers and institutions have expectations that prospective employees and applicants for graduate school have some type of online professional presence, as well as digital literacy and communication skills. Your first online college course can help you begin to develop your own online presence as a member of the CSUSB learning community. The following tips can help you communicate well online. Read through each one to enhance your development as a positive digital citizen. Be professional, clear, and respectful. Clear and effective writing translates to clear and effective communication. Consider the purpose of your communication and your audience. Use a respectful tone and adhere to the same rules you would follow in traditional classrooms. Use proper grammar, spelling, and formatting, and check all of your communication before clicking the send button. Avoid emotionality and all capital letter statements, and keep communication meaningful and to the point. Remember that you are beginning to develop your professional online presence. Read what you've written out loud. If you aren't sure it will be perceived as respectful, rewrite it. Read and formulate responses carefully in discussion forums. When you read communication written by other students, take the time to thoughtfully examine it, considering all points and the possibility that they express doesn't convey their intention to help you avoid confusion and prepare you for valid responses. Before you respond, take the time to research your own facts and provide citations for information stated within your communication. This promotes a robust academic environment and adds credibility to your contributions. If given the option, consider recording an audio or video post. Our facial expressions and voice tone can add context to your response and help others see and or hear your intent. Metacognition, monitoring your learning. Metacognition is an awareness of the conditions conducive to your best learning, specifically your preferred medium of learning, whether it be visual, verbal, or auditory your specific learning strategies for enhancing your understanding and retention. 
whether it be creating flashcards, et cetera, and your emotional response to the learning material, both positive and negative. By understanding yourself metacognitively, you can root out an effective study habits and find some effective study strategies that enable you to stay focused for longer periods of time, retain motivation, and become more active in the learning process. This, in turn, will enhance retention, skill, and enable new discoveries about the subject matter. To do this effectively, one needs to understand their preferred medium, specific learning strategies connected to that medium, and their emotional response to the coursework and learning material. Let us examine these three. Medium. A medium or modality refers to how the information is presented, text only in video format, through pictures, reading, combination of multiple media. If you know your preferred medium, you can always search for an alternative in your medium of choice or ask your professor. Study strategies. Study strategies refer to the specific learning and study practices that help you better remember and understand the material, such as flashcards, writing notes, self-quizzing, visualization, summarizing, etc. Different learning strategies are more closely associated with the different media, though not all strategies, depending on how they are used, are mutually exclusive. For example, mental visualization strategies, flashcards, and constant maps work best with visual learning. Other strategies, such as listing, could be either verbal or visual, depending if whether you verbalize information to retain it or to retain a mental image of that list's contents. Emotions. Emotion plays a key role in metacognition. If you have positive emotional associations with your professor or the subject matter of a class, you'll spend more time engaging with the material. Conversely, if your emotional associations with the class are negative, you'll tend to spend less time and motivation is destroyed. Metacognitive awareness can improve emotion and motivation in return. Specifically, negative emotions that ruin motivation can be rooted in bad study habits that do not assist the learner or correspond to the preferred medium of learning delivery. Therefore, taking time to understand the efficacy of one's study habits through analysis of one's preferred medium is crucial to determine which work for you and which can be adopted. Consequently, using better study strategies upon this reflection will not only improve results, but improve attitude. Improved attitude can augment learning even more through improved perceived self-efficacy and lead to increased motivation. Self-discipline for success. All courses require self-discipline and self-control to do well. Sometimes you may have to delay the gratification of a chat with your friend or watching a movie so that you can stay engaged with the material in order to succeed. It is specifically true in online classes where you may not have reminder of assignments and due dates by simply attending class in person. Understanding how you will learn will help you exercise self-discipline. As you take time to understand and reflect on your thought and study process, you are also regulating how you study by choosing the study practices that work best for you. Staying on task and finding study strategies that work for you will help you study more effectively and for longer periods of time. Better strategies enable more motivation and focus. Therefore, it becomes easier to enact self-discipline. Congratulations, you have completed the Learning at a Distance course. We thank you for taking this course and we hope that it will help you thrive in your online courses. For any technical support that you may need, you may contact the Technology Support Center via phone at 909-537-7677 by email at support at csusb.edu.